this. Um, I was making cinnamon rolls. Oh, groovy. Hey, Brandon. Brandon? Hey Tyler! How you doing buddy? Come right down! Hey Tyler! Hey Tyler! What the hell? Hey Tyler! Hey Tyler! Yeah. I want a large pizza. Hey Tyler! Hey Tyler! Hey Tyler! Come on dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Suck it, nerd. I'll see you later. Ta da! I don't want to go! I don't want to go! I don't want to go! I
It's locked. Who locked that fucking door? Tyler? I, I, didn't, I didn't lock the door. Why didn't you use your words? Man, you're crazy. Let's go. The new Apple invention, the iTransport, has been a smashing success so far. It's most definitely a marvel of modern science. That's it for the news. Here's a song from the Mimes and Chains with their smash hit, Mime in a Box. Dude, you suck, faggot. Why don't you stop trying to use that fucking sniper rifle, faggot? You fucking suck. Get the hell out of my session. Alright, dude, you seriously cut it out now. Boom! Killed you again, faggot. And now I'm teabagging your ass. I hope you like it, because your mom sure did. Yeah, and you know what else, bitch? Your mom and I are going out on a date as soon as I've done kicking your ass. Like straight up, we're going to an Italian restaurant, it's gonna be romantic, dude. It's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> he rage quit. What a fag. Abba Zabba Kalamazoo. <laughs> Damn, what a bitch. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? I love my mom very much. Now you know that. <sighs> oh, hey, mom. How was uh, how was your date? You didn't show up. Sorry to hear that. Well, how was your game? Yeah, point like, look at right at my dick. <laughs> right. Yeah. Shoot, shoot my cock.
You know wish you want. didn't say that. <laughs> Alright. Fuck, oh, I wish you didn't say that. That's too funny. I'm gonna stab you right in the buns. I'm gonna stab you right in the buns. <laughs> Design a resale. They've got killer deals. <laughs> I am Scott Alterbridge, and I am here to tell you about the recently found ape tribe, the Bro Bananas. 
The bro bananas were found in the southeastern end of Iowa. You can see they are behind the alpha male, never ever taking a step above him. If they do, they will get quite a shellacking, always behind and letting the alpha male go first. Ah yes, here's the well-known alpha male bro banana. Much more defined, better muscle definition, and tremendous muscular buttocks. And from what I've heard, he is an excellent lay. The second member of the pack, also known as Chubbs, entertained the others with his common buffoonery at knock-knock jokes, and is from what I've heard to be an excellent lay. Ah, the third member of the pack, known as Weeky. He is soft-spoken, timid, obedient, and just downright courteous, and is, from what I've heard, an excellent lay. It is morning, they are hungry, so they'll go out and find food for the breakfast. Common breakfast for them is easy to find, but they still must search through the weeds and trees to find it. Oh, because they found it. Uh, oh, yes, the bag of Doritos. Cool Ranch. It is their lucky day. There is much rejoicing. But it appears the alpha male can get it open, so he gives it to the obedient one. And he opens it. Oh, and then the alpha male eats it first, of course. And then going off, and then letting the others fight over the rest. During the day, they need to find stuff to preoccupy the time, so they pick on the weaker one. Sometimes just general horseplay. And here they are. Oh, it appears they are jockeying for position. They are about to fight. Oh my goodness. When bro bananas are angered, they are known to fling their poos. Alpha male has thrown his. Now it's time for chubs. <laughs> During my expedition, I was lucky to film the mating rituals of the bro bananas. The rare flower of the bro bananas desire, known as the ho banana. This is quite a sight. But in the bro bananas world, it is the female who chooses the male. The alpha male shows off his muscles. Ah, she is not impressed. The alpha male also tries to read her a poem. She is not impressed. Weeki dangles his car keys. She is not impressed. This is the last ditch effort. Chubbs has something. It appears he is going to show her money. Let's see what happens. And that's it. Wouldn't you know it, the one with the most money gets the girl. Now the alphas are changed. Chubbs is now the alpha. Now Weeki follows him, leaving the old alpha behind. It is good to note that when the alphas are shunned, they become very hostile and will rape the first creature they see. I wouldn't want to be seen by this angry and horny primate right now. Now, traveling alone, the alpha male, and oh shit, I think he spotted me. Oh shit, oh shit, 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 oh fuck, 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 ah, oh, what the, oh shit, 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 and, and, oh no, he's raping me! He's raping me! It hurts so good! Shit in the bag. <laughs> Dad? Yes, son? Am I the Antichrist? Uh, oh, Humphrey, why would you think of such a thing?
Oh. <laughs> well, you see, son, when a man loves a woman very, very much. Hey dude. Hey dude, got a couple blunts I need to roll. It's okay if I do it here? Well, okay. Dude, I know you're into that BDSM shit, but can't you wait for a mail order bride to get here from Japan? This is not Tyler. Tyler's not here anymore. Well then who the fuck are you? I'm a demon. I'm a high ranking officer of the 666 4th level brigade. Okay, but what is your real name? Why should I tell you? Well, I'm gonna be rolling blunts here, so it'd be nice if you'd be a little conversational with me so I actually know who I'm talking to. Chad. Well, nice to meet you, Chad. It's a pretty gay name for a demon, but what do I know? I'm just a sinless blunt roller. Sinless? Ha! You insult me. Yeah, sure. My name's Joel. Question. Do you just like to hear yourself talk? So why are you obsessing Tyler? Not much of a challenge. Exactly. This is actually my first possession. I signed the ease of something easy before I go on the harder stuff down the road, like young girls and older women. Yeah, I'm sure it's real hard. It isn't, but this is still easier. Alright, well, I'm just gonna sit over here and roll my bones. What? You're not gonna call a priest or something? Nah, too much work. Well, you have to do something. Who says? Um... Well, if you're not going to live up to your ideals, then why even talk? I believe in personal liberties. I'm not going to live in the chains that society sets for me. Plus, I'm a wicked listener. Well, uh... So what music do you listen to? In hell, we're not allowed to... I'm a big fan of ICP. Whoop whoop! <laughs> oh, those faggots? I just really like their style. I like to listen to their music forever and ever. But they... I really think they're underappreciated. They're great businessmen and really good lyricists. <sighs> So come on, dude, what music do you listen to? I've been trying to talk to you, but you don't have anything to say. You gonna call a priest, or what? Does it cost anything? How the fuck do I know? I'm from hell. How do I know your costs and currencies on this shit planet? I don't know, don't you have the internet? <sighs> Just dial up. Oh, bro, you gotta upgrade. In hell, all the technologies is still in its first form. Do you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to call somebody? Wait, you mean those old phones where if you call someone, it calls, like, everyone? Yeah, pretty fucking terrible. You got over 200 trillion people trying to answer the phone. You might as well just walk to them. Over 200 trillion? Yeah, there's that many. The Bible is impossible to live by. I see. So what music do you like? White Stripes. Why don't you just shut the fuck up already and just call a priest? I will. Fine. But just one more question. What?! Do you have any scissors? I need them to make my blood. How the fuck do I know where Tyler keeps his scissors at? I don't know. He usually just gets them to me. Well, I can't. His mom tied me to the bed. Tyler, are you feeling better yet? Fuck off! I brought Brussels sprout soup! Oh god. I hate Brussels sprouts. They make me sick. They'll make you feel better. Ah! Get him away from me! I can smell it from here! Ah, <laughs> it burns! It burns! Oh, don't be such a picky patty. They smell good. I know Joel will have some. How about fuck no, Mrs. C? Alright then, are you sure, Tyler? 
Fuck off! Watch your language, little boy. You just talked yourself out of prune brownies for dessert. Good! I'm glad those brownies go fuck themselves dry! Well, maybe for a week you can't have any wasabi cookies either. What the fuck is this Tyler can't eat? I prefer not to think about what he gargles down his mouth. Well, regardless, if I have to force feed you the soup, I will. No! Stay back! Get away from me! I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Dude, really? You've had the whole room to puke in, and you choose to puke on my blunts? You're, you're a spiteful puker. Oh heavens, I have never seen you puke like that. I'm gonna call Uncle Willie. He'll know what to do. Uncle Willie? Oh god. Who's Uncle Willie? You'll find out soon. I was hoping not to have to meet that weirdo again. What's wrong with him? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you? Because the last time I saw you, you targeted your puke to land right on my weed. It was an accident. Well, you can stuff your accidents in my butt. No thanks. Hey, Tyler. Haven't seen you for a really long time. Well, when you do die, I'm sure we will see a lot more of each other. I hope so. It will be really nice to catch up. Hey, Joel. Haven't seen you for a really long time. I just ran into you at Barnes & Noble's yesterday. I think you're mistaken. I haven't been there... I don't think I've ever been there. You had one of those anime porn comics and that Twilight book. Oh god, a book! It's so beautiful! This is the, the sparkles and the, the bellows. She's so beautiful! She reminds me of my cat Fifi. She died yesterday. I ran her accidentally, ran her with my vest, but... <laughs> Four times! <laughs> anyway, how's it going here, champs? Well, Tyler's possessed by a demon named Chad. Oh, God. Chad? Uh -huh. uh, what? <laughs> a kid named Chad Vestmeyer from high school used to depend me and drag my bear back on the track. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah, high school was terrible. Everyone picked on me. <laughs> I had to wear suspenders eventually. I hated everyone unless you could just shoot them in the face. But I was a really good student. Well, let's see. Sometimes demons are easy to control. Depends on their feet levels. Feet levels? What kind of priest are you? Christian, of course, silly boy. Who wants pink blood cookies? Why would you do this? Are you just trying to make me upset? What? You come down here dressed like that. Are you just trying to make me upset? You like the idea of me pining over you. you. You dress up like some sort of fucking Mexican harlot. You just, you're so stupid and ugly, you cut throbbing heartless bitch. Why won't you give me another chance in love? Willie, you're my brother. I can never love you like that. Oh, so you didn't take me on a date last year? Hmm? How about that? Are you talking about the family picnic? Oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> we were playing with the frisbee, and I, I was throwing it, and you didn't, you weren't there to catch it. <laughs> but, you know, it was a beautiful day outside, it was sun shining and birds were chirping, and you ruined it with your cuntiness, you bitch! I'm gonna go if this is how you're gonna act. Oh, you will go if this is how I'm gonna act. Well, I'm still gonna keep your soup warm for you, Tyler, if you want it. Soup? You made soup? How could you do that in front of me? Soup was our fucking meal! Our first meal that we ever had together was juice ball gumbo. <laughs> I'm out of here. Good. I'm tired of looking at your fuck pugly face. She's so pretty. <laughs> She's like an angel. A woman flying down from heaven covered in rose petals. You know what? This was a big mistake on my part. Tyler can have his body back. I'm just going to leave now. Sorry for inconveniencing you. Why would you let me do this? I want to do it when I make you. <laughs> I want to prove to you that I'm a worthy priest. But you know what? Whatever you got to do, brother, whatever is your journey, okay? Yep, exactly. So I'm going to go now. So I'll see you about... Well, the way you act, I give it a year. Did I mention I smoke crack? Maybe six months then. You got a deal. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Why didn't you let me prove myself?
Alright, so I'm gonna get going now. There has to be some kind of way to get out of this. There has to be some phrase or something I can use. Shazam! No, that ain't it. Up, up, and away! Fuck, that ain't it either. Run, boys! Run! Shit, that ain't it either. Klaatu, Frata, Neto! Fuck, that ain't it either! Actually, I read this in Holman Gardens magazine. Demons hate bad sci-fi movies. We can make him watch Battlefield Earth. No! Stop! Just wait a second, okay? I think I know where it is. I can put it in for you. Stop! Haha, uh -huh, here it is. I'll put it in for you. Stop it! Um, um, yada yada yada. No. That's my mama. No. Oh, I got it. I got it. The movie's starting. Abba, Zaba, Kalabazoo. Holy snakeys, Batman. The Terminator has kidnapped Santa Claus. Guys, why am I all tied up here? Oh, I'll help you. Thank God we saved you, Jesus. Now we need to send you to the Sega bosses to fight Megatron. No, Jesus, those chicken wings are really spicy. Don't eat those. Terminator 2, huh? You know... I'm gonna move for a good sci-fi movie. How about uh, Battlefield Earth? I'm a demon, high-ranking officer on the 666th fourth level battalion. 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 That one word fucking me up. Use your words.